let's talk about light maps. What's the point of light maps? Margins are X, Y, Z as a square. So what's the best way for us to be able to create a margin all the way along the curve? And that's true a light map. The problem here is, is that first of all, my point cloud is going to go right to the edge here. So if I click on go, so it's come right to the edge here. And so this is gonna cause cracking on the glass. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our light maps on. And now you can see it creates this fade and you can control that fade through here. You've got your fall off exponent and your blur radius. So the blur radius is essentially how far away from the edge does it start. And your fall off exponent is how powerfully do you want it to fade? So do you want it to fade slowly or do you want it to fade like very sharply? So if I made this a five, for example, it's starting five away and it's almost instant. But if I make this fall off exponent 0.5 and click on go, you can see that it's now kind of trailing and fading off a lot more softly. Okay, so you can control that. Let's take a look at this from the side. So you can see that because of his leg, this image is way too further back. Now, we know these legs are not going to show anyway, so I'm just going to move this to the middle. So always be careful of that. Uh, however, if you really wanted to include the legs and the body and everything, then you do have this tool called the non-uniform scale. And you can actually make it thicker or you can make it thinner on the head. Be careful not to do it so that it kind of warps everything. Make sure that you are locking it. So highlight this arrow in yellow and lock it so it stays locked and it's only operating on dead. Otherwise, it'll take it out of proportion on different views.